Hey guys, what's up? Uh, doing a little different video this week. Um, we get a lot of questions all the time on our Instagram page, Facebook, YouTube channel. What do you guys do with coyotes? So uh, today we've actually got a fur buyer coming into town. Drop off to him and he sends him up to the NAFA fur auction up in Michigan or maybe Minnesota. I can't remember exactly where. But so right now we're headed over to Micah's house to go get the few coyotes we've got skinned. Uh, you'll see what they look like skinned, stretched, and ready to head to the auction. So we'll get over to Micah's and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, just got over here to Micah's house. Like I was telling you, doing a little different video. I'm gonna show you the fur we got that we're gonna be sending off to auction. Some of them already been sent, so got the wall over here. I think there's 33 coyotes, two bobcats, a fox, two badgers, and I got a couple of coyotes in the freezer still I didn't have enough stretchers for. And how many did you send off already, Luke? About 12. So we had almost 50 coyotes this year, and I didn't end up skinning two of them because Garrett blew too big of holes in two of them. But <laughs> that happens. But yeah, so this is you know we'll show you up here close. A lot of you guys you know might be wondering what these are like. You know, I mean you can see it almost sounds just kind of like cardboard a little bit. So now we've got them all lined up here. We're gonna head down and. Get a little information from the guy that's going to take these to the auction. That's going to be the one cool thing that uh, he's going to talk about for us. A lot of people don't know. You talk to a fur buyer, what are they looking for? You know, none of us really for sure know exactly. So hopefully he'll give us some good information and, you know, for the people that are out there skinning coyotes, maybe take a little more time, a little extra care to get that extra dollar. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we're dropping off the furs today. You just saw that we had them all in the backyard here um, a little bit ago. This is Corey Hatch, right? Yep. All right, and then, so you work for NAFA then, or do you yes, have uh, your own thing? I'm receiving agent for North America Fur Auction. Essentially, I'm an informal employee, if you will. Okay. Um, I collect fur in Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, take it to my place, package it up, ship it off okay essentially is what it is so right. well I guess a lot of questions we get are what do the coyotes go what do they use coyotes for like when they use the fur what part of the fur do they use and uh, what are they using it to make out of it? basically what you what they're using with the coyote is taking the coyote back and making a rough on a jacket okay and that's that's essentially that's it. really about all they make right? yeah that's most of it, it. I, from what I understand kind of goes overseas or uh, just um, a lot of it stay here or the the coyote roughs on coats are being used domestically okay and um, that's kind of the reason the market stayed up on those okay you know where a lot of fur the last year the markets fell off okay hard. well these have, held have up. stayed up yeah. so I guess things to watch out for is there anything to not do with a coyote I've tried to wash them I got better as I've been doing this yeah. my first year selling them um, some of them look real good, some of them look like crap, to be totally honest. Yeah, the, the kicker with a coyote is if you trap him or shoot him, there's generally mud and blood. Right. Um, get them cleaned up. There's no, on legs, always best to tuck in legs. Okay. Okay, there's always a little bit of leg here. You don't want to cut it off too short or you right, get a hole. too short, yeah. You, you don't want to let it get too long or it's harder to dry. So, essentially, Cut it off, tuck it in there, nice and tight. Okay. Okay. Um, things you're watching out for, you want to make sure the ears are dry. These ears are dry. Okay. Um, there's cartilage in that in there. You can cut a lot of that out. Um, okay. Because it'll rot. Okay. You smell if it, it stays in there too yeah. long. Yeah. Gotcha. That kind of thing. Um, always split tails. Yeah, I lost two tails actually because I forgot to split them. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you're, you're learning, like you say, it's, it's your first go at it, you know. Um, all these coyotes are they from? These are all Southern Utah coyotes. Southern, aren't they? Yep, Southern Utah, and Northern Arizona. Yeah. So. so what you're what you're seeing, we're seeing we're seeing red coyotes. We're seeing. I only got one that's actually real dark, dark darker red. There, and but. what what we want are lighter coyotes. Okay. Ones that look white, black, and silver. Okay. That's good. So that's the color you're looking for. Is the yeah. White, black and silver. And, that, and that's harder to get down here. Right. Honestly. So, but. I like the look of that coyote, semi-heavy coyote, okay. meaning the fur isn't as heavy, but I like the looks of him. You've got the right color. You know it. what I mean? He's closer. Okay. You know, there's there's nothing that we would call essentially good color. Prime, yeah. But, but that's where we're at here. Right. Yeah. You just don't, it's so, warm down here. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they're different. They're just these desert coyotes. Yeah. And so, but yeah, they're used for trim and, you know, as a rule, 
if you shoot him, you may as well make a buck on him. Yeah, that's kind of what we figure. So, is. Yeah, every little penny counts. Yep. Helps pay for gas. Yep. So. And skinning wise, um, main thing to do with every, everything. I don't care what it is you kill. Get it skinned, and it's going to be easier to flush if you'll freeze it first. Yeah, they, I've it, noticed freeze that. Freeze it, freeze it, and then the flush comes up. Yeah, and easier. then pull it out, flush it. The grease won't run. Those kind of things. It'll yep. help you out in that regard. And then also. Um, make sure they're dry. You've done, I don't know if you've got a fan or what, but all your ears are dry. That's it. I can, I can tell that cat's from this country. Yep. Short back, fur, red. Yeah, it was about two weeks ago we got it. So, so actually, no, it was last weekend. So, but I, I, I really like the looks of these Utah cats. Okay. I like, I realize that um, these aren't blue backs or anything like that, but right. I, I like the color. They look clean to me. This one has got a really nice belly, heavy fur on the belly. Okay. Um, when we're talking about clarity and that, we're talking about clarity of spots and things. So the and wider it, and blacker the spots? Yeah, and so this one isn't super clear. Okay. It's still a really good cat. See how heavy the fur is? Uh-huh. Okay, so good spots, big wide belly, big cat, um, probably an extra large cat. And um, important thing with cats, you can do the legs a million ways. You can tuck them in just like a coyote. Okay. Keep them out of the way. It doesn't matter. Um, all this Nevada stretch, all this, it's all, that's all marketing. It's all, yeah. It's all just a way to knock you down. That's, I figured okay. there's probably very specific things the buyers look at and very specific things they're looking for. Yes, and very few cats need to be done any way except feet tucked in. Okay. A cat like this would have been worth north of 300 bucks, maybe even as much as five and 600 Yeah. the market was real hot. Now, I think we're going to be lucky to pull 120, 180 average out of cats. Yeah. Year. You know, um, but this this is a heavy cat. So can belt. you hang on to them if you're going to want to try and wait for things to go back up? Can you freeze them or how does that work? If you're going to freeze them, freeze them before they're fleshed and before they're dried. Okay. So skin it, roll it up, put it in a bag, even put a little water in that bag and freeze that thing. That's going to okay. be the best chance. Gotcha. Because um, once it's dry like this, unless you've got good humidity controlled cold storage. It's going to freeze dry basically? Or? Yeah, well, it's going to... It's gonna, mildew and it's going to turn yellow it's going to oh, be stale okay. and that yellow skin will be discounted so even if you held it for 10 years till the market was hot until it doubled you're still going to get less out of it skin, so. <laughs> gotcha. so that's that's the hard part about it but um, with cats again there's a million ways to do it but um, up here on the nose you can take that in make it a lot more narrow yeah I mean maybe not a point but all but okay. you know don't let anybody push around on that kind of stuff it's all like i say it's all bull crap it's, right um you can keep that pretty skinny pull the thing long keep it square here across the across the tail okay and the belly try to try to get all at the same length gotcha work that down on a board um but when you got cats with a heavy belly like that that's good money that's a good animal good you know that's